The overall aims of our research are to improve the care of patients with malignant pleural effusion or fluid in the chest cavity in order that we can better identify which patients will respond to the treatments that I can offer. In the past there was only one or two options of treatment, that being drainage of the fluid or not, and in the modern age there's many more treatments available but we're not very good at selecting which treatment should be given to which patient. And one of our purposes in this study, the overall aim really, is to try to specialise the treatment according to the person in front of us. Malignant pleural effusion is the collection of fluid between the chest and the lung. Normally there's just a small amount of fluid there, and some people can have a large amount of fluid collect in that space. That can mean people are breathless and have chest pain and in malignant pleural effusion it's there because of the presence of cancer cells in the lining of the chest cavity. Now these people get chest pain, become breathless and we know that there are around 50,000 such patients in the UK every year. The current treatment is to drain away the fluid in order to improve those symptoms. Unfortunately that drainage procedure doesn't work long term and that means that if I take fluid out of the chest with a simple anaesthetic procedure they have to then come back into hospital again and again to have it drained recurrently or, or, or repeatedly. Um, what we therefore do is a procedure to stop the fluid coming back and that's a simple procedure where we stick the chest wall to the lung using a little tube into the chest. What we're not good at is predicting which patients are going to respond well to that sticking procedure which is called pleuridesis and the, the overall purpose behind this study is to improve our ability to predict who will respond well and who won't respond well to that particular procedure. This is very important research and I'm again incredibly grateful to Marie Curie for funding it. The purpose behind the research is to improve care and we've designed the research so that the patient's views and the patient's symptoms are the very centre of the research. Treatment of fluid in the chest is based around making people feel better, which is the very definition of palliative care. And previous research hasn't really looked at that. It's looked uh, within this area, within pleuridesis as it's called. Um, previous research has focused on x-rays and CT scans. And what we want to do is to focus on how the patient feels. What we want to do is to conduct a study where we drain people's chests and we use a special scan called an ultrasound which is done in hospital in order to see if the patients can be sent home sooner than they would normally and very importantly ask the patients how they feel in terms of breathing, in terms of chest pain and no one's done that before in a large scale trial which is what we're planning. The results of this study I think are going to be very important and what's nice for me is that I think that study results will be applied to people's care in the real world almost as soon as we finish the study. Um, the reason for that is that every day patients are admitted to hospitals across the UK breathless and in pain because of fluid in the chest and the study that we will do will I hope improve hugely the quality of the care that we can give these people. Um, improve how long they stay in hospital, enable us to target the right treatment to the right patient. Uh, we've designed it so that at the end of this study we will know for certain whether the use of certain scans is helpful, we will know for certain whether we can predict which patients will respond best to treatment. And that means that as soon as we publish the study results, and the study should take about three years, we should have improved the care of these people every day in the NHS.